SLA News 12. With breaking news. And we do begin with breaking news in our crime tracker, tra crime tracker, I should say, on a day that should be full of thanks. Several families are forever scarred after a fatal tragedy. Just unbelievable that on a day of Thanksgiving, you would think that everybody would just be thanking God that they made it uh, this full into the year. A day of thanks has been marred with tragedy. According to the Shreveport Police Department, two people were shot in an exchange of gunfire. One person was pronounced deceased at the scene. Right now we have a double homicide that occurred in the parking lot. And so we're investigating and trying to figure out what exactly happened. The detectives are here, crime scene, and we'll continue to try to figure out what's going on. Councilman James Green, a pastor at a nearby church, was inside when he heard something that didn't sound right. I come outside, obviously, I want to know what's going on. I see the police got the street blocked off, and I know something drastic has happened. Councilman Jerry Bowman spent time consoling nearby citizens, still shocked from what they witnessed. I've seen some disgust, I've seen some upsetness, and I do believe that, you know, um, Things are supposed to be getting better, and then it looks like they're getting worse. I wish it was a way that we can sever our differences better than what we have been doing here. There are now a few families forever affected by tragedy on a day that should be filled with thanks. They need to teach conflict resolution. This is not uh, a way to resolve any type of conflict. Just it needs to be taught. You know, folks need to learn how to deal with these issues. It is sad. Right now, you can find this full story on our KSLA News 12 app. We'll give you the first alerts to any breaking or developing news across the Arklitz.